What's going on y'all? We're out here today. Gonna be targeting some speckled trout, some redfish, stuff like that. We're just playing around in the marsh. We got some awesome fall weather and conditions are right for us to be able to get in here and really catch some, some awesome redfish. We should be able to sight cast on some. Tides are kind of low. We're gonna be playing around in some mud. After the redfish bite dies, we might go play around with some trout. But yeah, that's the deal. Let's get in here. See if we can catch some fish. So the little we're gonna start off throwing this morning is the Southern Salt Hoodwink right there. This is our Cajun Pepper color. I'm gonna link these down in the description. We just released these uh, earlier this month and they have been killer for speckled trout, redfish, and flounder. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out here, start throwing this little guy, see if we can whack him. Got redfish all over this little back cut right here. See if I can sight cast on one. He's on. He's on. There we go. He's on. Come here, dude. Oh, on a doggone hoodwink. That is a heck of a way to start the morning right there. Dude, he is taking off. That is a big one. Got me tangled up in a little bit of grass. Come here. I oh, mean, we are super shallow right now. Oh, come here, dude. I mean, that guy just took off. So crazy this morning. Coming in this back cove, just see him waking everywhere. Made a pretty long cast in front of that one. Guess he heard the splash and decided to just smoke it. I don't think there's a better way to catch redfish than visually throwing on top of them. Come here, dude. Got a really light setup right here. 6'9", medium light. It is my trout rod for throwing jigs. And we're running 10 pound test with it, so really want to be easy on these fish. Don't want nothing crazy to happen. Oh man, what a beautiful red fish. What a beautiful fish, man. Come here, dude. Well, that is our first fish of the morning. Caught it right here on a dog on hoodwink. And that dog right there will hunt, y'all. Holy cow, what a redfish. Y'all look at this guy right here. What makes it even better is I got it on a dog on hoodwink. I mean, what better way to catch a doggone redfish this morning? Awesome, it's a beautiful morning. Wind's laying down for us. Tides are right. Just out here, throwing around on some doggone marsh donkeys. All right, simmer down. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on her. All right, appreciate the fight, girl. We'll see you next time. Get you some good gulps. Get her going back and forth. There you go. Bye bye. Give it a couple of blind casts around in here while I wait for them to pop back up. That pile of redfish back there kind of made it easy on me. They were very easy to see. A lot of big ones were right back there in that cove. So, haven't seen any more pop up after I landed that one, which, you know, you're in a small area like this and you catch a decent fish making a little bit of noise, splashing around, all the other fish are gonna, they're gonna catch on to what's going on and they're gonna move on. Oh, there's one right there, just took off. Uh, let's see if I can get them to, oh, come on, come on. I'm having to really judge my cast on these. I can't really see them, all I see is their wake. 
and then I'm trying to cut it off and throw it in front of them hoping to get a little bit of their attention he's on there we go it's like a trout it is little guy come here dude spit it out easy easy release He's on, I think. He's on. Doesn't feel like anything big. Is there going to be another trout? It is. Alright, dude. Well, we in here looking for reds and catching dink trout. See you, dude. Guys, to get in here and find some of these reds, though. We're going to ease through this creek and. Once we get to the back of it, if we can't uh, get any reds by then, the tide's going to start falling out. I'm going to move out to the main channel and target on some speckled trout. And I got a feeling we can probably catch some big ones. He's on. He's on. Come here. Little red. Little reds need love too, right? Come here, dude. All right. Well, that is our fourth fish of the morning. Sitting right outside this little creek drain right here. I need to find that dude's mama. Just keep on working down this creek real quick. Oh, he's on. He's on. There's another small red. Or is it a trout? Trout. Man, there are some dinks up in this creek, y'all. This is normally an area that's holding some big fish, but man. We're going to go ahead and make a swap over to our white minnow of death color. It's just a pearl white. But before I do that, I'm going to take my jig head right here and just put a dab of glue on the stem. And all that does is prevent that lure from being pulled down by bait fish or even when I'm catching fish, um, it's gonna increase the life of that bait tremendously. There we go. Just like that. He bit it. There we go. What is that? First cast on a new color swap and it's a dink red. Man, I cannot get away from the small fish in here. They are stacked in this creek now. Ain't no doubt about it. Uh-oh, that's something big right there. That was something big that was tra uh, trailing it. There we go. There we go. Finally, after catching a ton of dinks, we've hooked up on something that is still another dink. <laughs> a little bit bigger than the other ones. Just shy of legal. There we go. This creek is absolutely stacked with small fish, man. And it's just surprising. That's gonna be a trout. It's a mixture of small trout, small redfish, but there ain't no doubt about it, they are eating the doggone hoodwink. Bye bye. I'm on. I'm on. 
on the doggone drop. There we go. That's a fish. Pulling a little drag on me. Yeah, that's gonna be a decent red right there. Not a giant, but definitely a keeper. Oh, going behind me. Going behind me. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. We definitely ran through our paces coming through here. I think we've caught three or four dink trout, about three or four more dink reds. Pretty much stacked up around every bend. And just as soon as I dropped that cast in there, he smoked it. Come here. We gonna release you, I promise. Let me just get a look at you one time. That's gonna be a healthy fish right there. Starting to think there wasn't a healthy fish in this creek. Man, yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Come here. It really just does not get any better than this. Deep back here to mar or in the marsh, just chasing down some doggone donkeys. I think that would be a really good tournament red. I mean, that's a football right there. Go ahead and net you. Boom. All right, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, y'all. Caught him on the white minnow of death right there. Just an awesome catch. I mean, just look how beautiful that fish is. Nice, big gut on her. Let's see what she goes real quick. I think if I was in a tournament, I'd be okay taking a fish like this to the scale. At least in a kayak tournament. Boat tournament probably would not do much, but let's see here. Yeah, buddy, 24 and three quarters. Not a bad fish at all. Appreciate the fight. Go ahead and get a good release on her. All right. Appreciate the fight. I'm gonna come back for you in a couple weeks when we got the tournament. I need you to be sitting right where I caught you. Good kick. Bye-bye. Boom. So with that catch, I'm gonna go ahead and head out to the main part of the river. I feel like there's gonna be some trout stacked up down there, and I think we can get on some big ones. We've caught a couple of really nice redfish, so we're gonna head down there, see if we can find them. I just made it down here to the lower end of the creek. I believe, based on the time of the year, water temperature, I believe the fish are gonna be stacked down in some of these deeper holes. There he is. Second cast out here. And that is a keeper trout. Boom, boom. That did not take as long to get out here and get on a bite, man. We'll see you, dude. We're not keeping anything today. Just out here playing around, checking on our fall patterns and throwing these hoodwinks. Just playing around, trying to locate these fish and see what they want to eat. So when I'm throwing that hoodwink out there, a couple of retrieves I like. One of my favorites is just to pick it up, let it fall, kind of reeling in my slack, picking it up, let it fall. That's probably my favorite retrieve. And I will vary my speeds depending on my depth and how cold the water temperatures are. But that's pretty much my go-to right there. Another retrieve I like to do, especially when I'm bumping for flounder or redfish, I like to give it a couple of taps off the bottom, let it sit down on the bottom, give it a couple of taps. Sometimes that triggers the trout as well, but that's my favorite retrieve anytime I'm trying to target redfish or flounder. Trout are just, to me, are just a little bit different. They feed up and not down, so I want to keep that bait moving through the water column, give them something to key in on, chase it down, and strike it. Little guy right there. 
thought we left the dinks back in the creek. There he is. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. Well, I don't think the real big ones have moved in yet, but they are really, really close to moving in, catching guys like that. I'm sorry about that hook set, dude. Golly. All right. See ya. With that, y'all, I think we're about to get ready to head on in a couple of things, y'all. If y'all want the Hoodwink, be sure to check out the link in the description. They are available online right now. Head over there, purchase some of these lures. They are absolutely catching a ton of fish. Y'all have seen it here. I've released several other videos using the lure, catching everything from redfish, snook, speckled trout, even big flounder on them. So awesome little lure. Also, if y'all want to book a guided trip with me, uh, the link will also be in the description. It'll go through the Fishing Chaos app. So if y'all want to get out here on the water and, uh, and go out on a kayak charter, just go to that link right there. And uh, also, uh, if y'all want to support us over on Patreon, I put out Google Earth overlays of just about everywhere I fish. This spot is available on there as well as many, many others. I do appreciate anybody who heads over there and supports us. Uh, but with that being said, uh, if y'all would, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment with any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.